Hi everybody. Um, Digifest is almost here. It's going to be in a week or so and I thought I would send a little video to show you how to share your videos with me. Most of your um, videos will come out in a format that you can upload to your UG Cloud YouTube account and then share it with me. So there's three steps to this process. One, somehow getting the videos to your computer. If you're using a Chromebook, it might be just as easy for you to have the students share it with you. Or even if you're using Chrome somewhere, they could just share their video with you and you could download it from there or upload it to YouTube from there. Uh, but step one is to get kids to share the video with you. Step two is to upload the video to your YouTube account in UG Cloud, making it unlisted instead of private. And step three is sharing making a playlist and sharing that playlist list with me so that I can compile the playlist. So here's what we would do. First thing I would do is go to my Google Drive here, depending on how you usually get there. Some people use the little boxes, whatever you do to get to yours. Oh, and of course I have to do a login. Sorry about that. I was just preparing a few minutes ago and was logged in, so it must have booted me out. Let's go back to my apps. Okay, so when I go into Google Drive, this is where my students might have shared with me their videos, or they might have, um, you might have a shared file set up, a shared folder where they're just dropping things into you, and that you'll know it's a shared folder when it has a little person on it, like that one there. So I'm going to, once I get them into my drive, uh, because I'm working on a laptop, I'd probably download those to my computer. Um, and let me see if I can show you how that might happen if I have a video here. Okay, so here's one that I would click on as somebody has uploaded it to their drive and shared it with me. And I won't be able to display it, so I can download it here. And now it's going to be going to wherever my downloads go, in my case, onto my desktop. So that's how I would get it from there, okay? The next thing you're going to want to do is go to your YouTube app. Once you've got all your videos placed somewhere, I'd suggest in a DigiFest folder somewhere. And uh, if, you, if you're getting to it here uh, on the landing page, you can see it's here. Sometimes if you're getting to your apps through the little squares at the top, you might have to go to more and then find it, okay? So here's my um, YouTube account. It's wanting me to sign in again. So let me do that because I have a couple of accounts. Nope. As soon as I click sign in, it recognizes me as bsherry at ugcloud.ca. So I'm good. And what I'm going to do is click the upload button. And I'm going to select files to upload. Now you can make them public and searchable, but what I usually do with my student work is make it unlisted. That means other people can view it when, it's, when I send them a link and they can download it, but it's not going to be searchable. If I choose private, then no one else that has this link is going to be able to see it except for me. So I'll choose unlisted, and then I'm going to go and select a file. And I have lots in my movies folder, so we'll just try something from here. Um, maybe we'll try girls first ski jump. I know it's not too big. And up it goes, uploading. Now here, while it's uploading, I can put in a description of this video. I can then look at the privacy again, so it's still unlisted, but I could change it there. And I could add it to a playlist. So if you went ahead and created your playlist first, you could add it to your playlist as you um, bring these in, okay? This would let you um, decide what would be the first view, the thumbnail, when, um, when the video is in the playlist, and you'll be able to change that once the video's process is, processing is finished. You'll see a few different options there, or you could upload a, a, another picture that you want. 
and I'll show you what happens. I only have favorites there. So now this is my first video, so I could give it a new title, a new playlist title, Digifest 2014, and maybe your last name. So if it's Elizabeth, I want her to put Scott there. That way when you send me a link, I'll know whose playlist is who. That would be very helpful. Again, I can make it unlisted and I can create. Okay, right now I have I have to choose done to confirm. Where's my done button? There it is, hiding behind here. Okay, so my video is now ready. And if I go to my video manager, which I can click here to find my video manager, or often I go here at the top, I should see that I now have a playlist with a, one video in it. Okay. Here it comes. It's taking a little while today. There we go. There's, there's Girls First Ski Jump. If I click over here on the left to my playlist, I see that I have Girls. I have a playlist called Digifest with last name Scott, and I have one video in that. Okay? Now, when you've got all your video, videos in there and you want to share it with me, you're going to send me a link. Okay? You're going to copy that link and paste it and um, and send it to me. What I'd like you to do is, if you could, send it by the end of Monday at the very latest because I need to make sure that they're all viewable and that there's no problems. Um, my real preference would be to have it by this Friday, May 16th, but if you have trouble doing that, oh and Monday's the holiday, so really I need them by Friday guys. That would be great. Thanks. Hope this helps. Email me if you have any questions.